This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Friday, June 30th, 2017. Euro dollar. So the euro continues to extend its run after the market broke above 113 earlier this week to fresh 2017 highs. The price action is making sense. The break to fresh 2017 highs beyond 113 follows a period of consolidation that was seen between 113 and 111. And so that 200 point consolidation broke into the top side is projecting this move up towards 115. That 115 handle coincides with some significant longer term resistance in the 115 to 117 area and if you look at this weekly chart going back to 2012 the consolidation that we've seen since 2014 has resistance that comes in all the way up in this 115 to 117 area looking back to 2015 the market rallied up and stalled out around 117 and then in 2016 the market stalled out into the 116s and so now we're seeing this push up in 2017 which is running into this resistance area into the 115 to 117 zone Expect the euro, which is now overbought technically on the daily chart, to start to find some good resistance in here. And we could see the market top out over the coming sessions as this market trades into overextended territory. But again, that rally still has room to move up into the 115 to 117 area before considering the possibility of a reversal. At this point, though, it would take a break all the way back down below 111.10, that previous higher low, to take the immediate pressure off the top side sterling dollar so cable continues to extend its run with the market pushing up above 130 and within a stone's throw of retesting and breaking the 2017 high which currently sits at 130.48 the market establishing above that level would open the door for an extension towards a measured move at 135 this 135 extension follows that consolidation that we had seen earlier this year off the plus 30 year low from October of 2016 at 118.40 that market had been capped at 127.75 for several months before finally breaking out and so that major consolidation that we had seen roughly between the 120 to 127 the 127 area was broken in April projecting that move up towards that resistance at 135 which is where this market looks to be headed over the medium term at the same time there is risk that we still see some choppy price action in here and some pullbacks but ideally now setback should be very well supported in sterling dollar dollar yen so dollar yen has broken up over the past several sessions but as we highlighted the market had broken above some short-term resistance at 112.13 this week but we warned that the downtrend was still firmly intact while below 114.37 and there was risk for the market to roll back over potentially towards a retest of the 2017 low ahead of 108 at this point it would take a rally above 114.37 to take the pressure off the downside and until then there continues to be risk for this market to stall out into rallies. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has done a nice job bid up this week, but again, this is a market that is facing some stiff resistance up towards that psychological barrier at 110. And while this market holds below 110, the overall pressure does remain on the downside. Of course, a break back down below recent support around 10830 would be required to accelerate declines and put the focus back on the downside, potentially exposing a retest of more meaningful support ahead of 106. Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar continues to extend its recent run. We had talked about the fact that the break above 76 the other day has opened the door for a fresh upside extension, which could expose a retest of the 2017 high at 77.50. But on a medium to longer term basis, this is a market that's very well capped. It's been very well capped up into the 78 area. And so expect this to happen again with the market running up there and stalling out in favor of a bearish resumption that could ultimately take this market all the way back down to lows that we had seen and below those lows that we had seen back in May around 73.30. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has finally dropped back down to test some major psychological support at 130. The market has broken down even below 130, but now it will be interesting to see how the market responds around this 130 area. On a longer term basis, the market has been very well supported on dips towards 130, and overall, the constructive outlook still remains intact despite this pullback 
to 130 and a little bit below. Again, over the coming sessions, it will be interesting to see how the market responds to the 130 area. If we see the market establish significantly below, then it could expose deeper setbacks and compromise the structure. At the same time, though, if the market is unable to really establish below 130 for any meaningful period of time, we could see a bullish resumption that ultimately takes us all the way back up to retesting those 2017 highs that were seen just back in May, just shy of 138. Kiwi dollar. So the New Zealand dollar has rallied up significantly over the past several days with the market pushing out away from those 2017 lows around 68. The market has now extended all the way back up to as high as above 73 and looks like it could be retesting those 2017 highs over the coming session at 73.76. At the same time, this is a market that's been very well capped on a longer term basis up towards the 73 to 74 area and really only a close above 74 would compromise what appears to be a more topish outlook on a medium to longer term basis in the New Zealand dollar. And so the risk is for another topside failure and breakdown back below recent support, which comes in around 71.85, which would strengthen this outlook and accelerate declines towards the 2017 low at 68.18 that was seen back in May. SPX 500. The S&P 500 has been showing signs of stalling out over the past few sessions, but again, while this market continues to hold above 2400, there's no conversation worth having about a structural shift, and the market is still focused on a fresh upside extension towards 2480, which follows that consolidation period of 80 points between 2400 and 2320 earlier this year. If the market breaks down below 2400, it will take the immediate pressure off the top side, but again, a break all the way back Back down below 2320 will be required here to force a meaningful shift in this structure. Gold. So gold has been consolidating over the past few sessions, but overall this is a market that continues to be very well supported on dips and putting in higher lows and higher highs in 2017 as it looks to extend this run through the 2017 peak at 1296 and towards the 2016 high at 1375 further up. Right now, look for these setbacks to be very well supported, well ahead of the previous confirmed higher low at 1214 from back in May, ideally being supported in the 1230 area in favor of that next upside extension. Look for a break back above recent highs around 1259 to strengthen this outlook and accelerate those gains.